In this video, we're going to be going through three definite integrals, okay? So let's go straight into number one. Uh, we've got the integral between 1 and 3 of 3x minus 2 all cubed dx. So the u, the substitution, will be the 3x minus 2. So we first of all differentiate that. So du by dx is 3 and rearrange it to get dx is equal to 1 third du. Okay, so we've got that piece. Now we go into changing the limits. So change the limits. So we're going from 3 to 1. So when x is 3, u will be 3 lots of 3, take away 2. So that's 9, take away 2, which is 7. And when x is 1, u will be 3 lots of 1, take away 2, which is just 1. So we can integrate this now between 1 and 7. Uh, the 3x minus 2 is u, um, with u cubed, we've got the dx as 1 third du. So I can tidy that up. Like so. Okay, right. So now I can integrate. So adding 1 to the power, divide by the new power, will get 1 over 12, u to the 4, evaluated between 1 and 7. Okay, so 7 to the power of 4 is 2,401, and that's going to be over 12. And now I'm taking away 1 over 12. Okay, so, well, that's just going to be 2,400 over 12, which I believe is just 200. So that is the answer to number 1. Okay. Nice number for question number one. Gets the point you've done A-level so much that when a nice number comes out, you start to kind of disbelieving it. Start to think, oh, that can't be right. Okay, so um, 200 for the answer for number one. Let's go into number two. So, the u here will be the x squared minus 3. So, du by dx will be 2x. Rearrange to get dx. We'll have 1 over 2x du. Okay, so then we want to change the limits. So, when x is 4, u is going to be 4 squared take away 3. So, 16 take away 3 which is 13. And when x is uh, 2, u will be 2 squared take away 3, so 1. So we're integrating between 1 and 13. We've got 5x, we've got u to the power of 5, and we've got 1 over 2x du. So the x's will cancel, and I'll have 1 to 13 of 5 halves, u to the 5, du. So now I can add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So I should get 5 over uh, 12, u to the 6, evaluated between 1 and 13. Right, don't know what 13 to the power of 6 is. Uh, not a particularly nice number. So, uh, it is 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 0, 4, 5 over 12. And then substituting the 1, I get 5 twelfths. So it looks like I'm ending up with 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 0, 4, 0 over 12. Which is... 2011170. So 2 million eleven thousand one hundred and seventy. Okay? So that's the answer to number two. Right. So last one, number three. We've got um, 2x plus 1 times the square root of 3x squared plus 3x plus 5 
integrated between 0 and 1. Now, this is the expression within the function of the square root. So that should be the u. So u equals 3x squared plus 3x plus 5. So du by dx will be 6x plus 3. So if I rearrange that to get, to get dx equals, I get 1 over 6x plus 3 du. Now I can write that alternatively as 1 over uh, 3 lots of 2x plus 1 du. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. Now, let's change the limits. So when x is equal to 1, what are we going to get? We're going to get 3 plus 3 plus 5, so 11. Oh, u equals 11. And when x is equal to 0, u will be equal to 5. So we're integrating between 5 and 11, the 2x plus 1 times u to the half. And the dx has been replaced with this, so 1 over 3, 2x plus 1 du. Now the 2x plus 1s will cancel, so I'm going to be left with the integral between 5 and 11 of a third u to the half du. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So, just to make sure I don't make any kind of calculation error here, 1 third divided by 3 halves, so 2 ninths u to the 3 halves evaluated between 5 and 11. Okay, so what have I got here? So 11 to the power of 3 over 2. Um, how do I want to write that? Well, 11 cubed is 1,331. So we're going to have two um, square root 1331 three, one, all over 9. And substituting in the 5, uh, 5 cubed is 125. So 2 root 1, 2, 5 over 9. Now I can't really uh, do much with that. 2 ninths square root 1, 3, 3, 1, take 2 ninths, 1, 2, 5. That is the exact answer, OK? Now, if you want it as a decimal, we will get, well, it can actually be simplified down, uh, it turns out to uh, 1 ninth, the calculator's telling me, to 22 root 11, take 10 root 5, which is 5.62 to three significant figures. Okay, so that is the answer to number three.